Hello students, in this lesson, let us study about the bridge design requirements. So there are four requirements which we have to consider before starting up the bridge design. So we will see one by one each one of them in this particular chapter. So to get started with, as I told you, there are four requirements for the design of bridge. The first one is the hydraulic data or we can call it as hydraulic design. The second one is the selection of bridge type. The third one is the selection of bridge site. And finally, the fourth one is the structural design. So in the collection of hydraulic data, what we normally do is we try to find the HFL score depth. Suppose the bridge is coming in case of your river side, right? Then the clear waterway. All these things we will be trying to find in the hydraulic data or hydraulic design. Basically, all the data which is related to the water river or lake or whatever is flowing below the bridge that data we need to collect next moving on to the selection of type of bridge this is very important criteria is to select which type of bridge we need to construct so once the hydraulic data is obtained to you we have to decide on all these things when it comes to the bridge type we need to see what is the span length required how much has to be the span of the bridge that we need to see. Then we have to see the bridge length. Then the beam spacing. Then the material that is available near the uh, site we need to consider. Then site conditions. Because this will help us to decide what is the foundation, what is the height, what is the spacing constraint, right? And also for the requirement of a shipping channel lead to long span bridges. For all those things, we need to take in consideration the site condition. Then what is the speed of construction that is actually going to be there that we need to decide, right? Then the constructability how properly or how ably we can construct a bridge that is an important criteria then the technology or the equipment that is available for us in order to construct that bridge is also an important uh, criteria because without equipment without technology constructing a very uh, large bridge or modernized bridge is very very difficult right then the aesthetics, how exactly your bridge has to look. That is also an important criteria. Then the cost, how much cost is available for us to design the bridge. That is important. Then is the access or for maintenance. So how much of access can we have for the maintenance purpose? That is also an important criteria. So based on all these things, we need to select the type of the bridge we not want to construct, right? Then selection of bridge site, we have already dealt in the previous chapter. So how to select the bridge site, right? So you can uh, study the criteria from that particular previous chapter, right? The last one is the structural design. So once the type of the bridge is decided, whether you are going for your steel bridge or you are going for concrete bridge, if in concrete, whether you are going for post-tensioned or pre-tensioned material, right? On all those things, you can go for individually the structural design. So because the steel structure is different, concrete structure is different, post-tensioned, pre-tensioned structure is different. So based on which type we are going, we can in detail go and design the piers, abutments, all the components, your deck slab, all those things we can design. So these are the 
some of the important uh, requirements which we have to collect before we start up the bridge design. Hope the lesson is clear to you. Thank you.